Neodynamics aim to drive progress within precision cancer management through minimally invasive technologies that improve precision, quality and safety of diagnostic tissue sampling procedures. Magnus, can you explain in short what is driving the need for improvements within the field of tissue sampling? Sure. Enhanced imaging technology today makes it possible to discover cancer earlier. Another trend uh, is precision medicine. It gives better and better treatment options. Um, both of these advan advancements gives need for improved tissue sampling. The tumors are smaller, they're more difficult to sample, and you generally need more tissue. You also need to do repeat biopsies during the treatment to tailor your medication along the way. And existing biopsy devices has not kept up with this development. They're becoming obsolete. Can you please help us get somewhat familiar with the technology behind Neonavia? The differentiating technology here is what we call micropulse technology. The micropulse is pneumatic and it accelerates the needle over a very short distance. Uh, it enables physicians to seamlessly maneuver the biopsy needle under ultrasound visualization. So moving the needle millimeter by millimeter, regardless of tissue properties, gives you better control. Think of this as the introduction of automotive power steering. Having tried it, you knew you will never go back. Using Micropulse technology as the platform, we've developed Neonavia. Uh, it's a system that truly meets the needs of breast biopsies today. How does your method differ from other methods on the market today? There are mainly two different methods used today for breast biopsies, core needle biopsies and vacuum assisted biopsies. Core needle biopsy devices are manually introduced and fired about two centimeters into a suspected tumor without the ability to control the action after you've actually pushed the firing button. So vacuum assisted biopsies are larger needles with razor sharp tips that you manually force into position uh, for tissue sampling using vacuum suction. So none of these methods are equipped for sampling the very small uh, millimeter sized tumors of today or in anatomically challenging locations. This is where Micropulse technology is a game changer. Looking at new innovations like Neonavia, it's always interesting to know more about its IP protection. What's the status on your patent portfolio? Our patent portfolio is one of our most important assets. Um, we strive for strong protection on all major markets, and Neonavia is covered by four patent families. This includes both the micropulse technology and the specific needle designs. You are currently developing a version of Neonavia for commercial use. Why are you doing this and how far have you come? The launch version of Neonavia uh, biopsy system is currently in development and progresses according to plan. We're currently preparing ourselves for evaluating the final prototypes. It's being manufactured and due for delivery within just a few days, so the team is very, very excited. Um, the characterization of these um, final fully integrated system prototypes is the fine-tuning of the system. Uh, after this, we will continue with formal verification and validation of the product before submitting documentation for regulatory clearance, which is needed before launching the Neonavia system uh, towards the end of 2019. Kai, has Neonavia been tested by physicians? And if so, what is their experience? So we've had uh, close collaborations with physicians um, during the whole process of product development um, since uh, 2016. We have a study version of Neonavia uh, that is CE marked. So, um, and I think when a device is being used in clinical routine, that is when you s really see how everything comes together. So now uh, the device uh, has been used in uh, over 300 procedures at around 15 university hospitals across Europe. Um, the physicians are very engaged. We get a lot of feedback. We know exactly uh, which features the physicians really value and which ones they don't. So um, what we're doing now is we uh, demonstrate the strength of Neonavia and really what the technology is capable of in the clinical trials. Um, and at the same time, we've taken all the feedback, everything we've learned, and really how the physicians envision the final Neonavia product to look like and inc incorporated that into product development of the commercial version that is going to launch in around one year. In what cases can Neonavia be used? 
So initially we focus on uh, breast cancer, uh, and that means biopsies of a tumor in the breast um, or of the lymph nodes uh, in the axilla, which is the place where the cancer cells are most likely to spread to first. Um, in principle, the technology can be used in any organ where needle biopsies are performed today for cancer diagnosis, and that means uh, the prostate, the lung, the kidney, the liver, um, there's, a, there's a lot of potential beyond breast cancer. Anna, how would you describe the market potential? First of all, we should remember the market is huge for breast cancer. Two million, more than two million women are diagnosed every year around the world with breast cancer. Six million um, biopsies are taken uh, during a year. And this means in value approximately a 500 million US dollar market. Um, the existing uh, therapy today is that uh, you use more and more precision medicine and during the procedure time actually you use more and more biopsies as well. That is the trend because you need to follow the treatment. Uh, we should also mention that biopsies are taken not only in breast cancer. So when we talk about potential for the market we can also use the technology in other areas such as thyroids, can cancer, lung, liver cancer, prostate cancer, which is of course a, a huge potential. And finally I want to mention our uh, Chinese owner, uh, largest shareholder, who has today already a women health organization and is out in the, in the, uh, the market and of course waits for kickstarting Neonavia in China. So huge potential. You are currently in the process of making an IPO. How will the money be used? We will use the mon money mainly on three different areas. Uh, it is, of course, to finalize the product development of Neonavia. Uh, and then to uh, compile all the documentation to make a very strong regulatory file. And finally, and mainly, the uh, money will go for uh, marketing activities because we need to prepare the market. By end of 2019, we are going to launch Neonavia in the, U in the European area. Uh, and we are prioritizing UK, Germany and Sweden. Anna, what can you tell us about you and your team's background? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm proud to say that we have a team that is very strong and strong in the way that we have a lot of experience in this team. And myself, I have 25 years in the pharma industry as well as the medical device industry. Uh, we have product development and medical affairs as well as finance who have in different positions, in other positions, have done this work before. So we have done the journey to get product out in the market several times and we are very motivated to do it also with Neonavia. And finally, why should you invest in the company? Mm -hmm. Neodynamics believe that we offer the shareholder uh, a great potential to make money long term. Uh, if the company takes just one or two percent of this huge market, we will be very successful. Uh, we are offering the market a revolutionary technology that will replace the obsolete um, biopsy systems. And we are selling with good margins these needles that are consumables uh, to a non-cyclical hospital market. And we are offering the doctor as well as the patient a possibility to get an accurate and safe diagnosis very early. And this means we save lives.